Oh, hi everyone, Viv here again. Um, I just thought I'd have a look at the new Higher Education Academy website and I think it's looking really snazzy. Um, William Sims, who's the Head of Marketing and Communications at the HEA, gave us a presentation at the April Symposium and Rosa Spencer was all, all, also there, who um, is one of their web development officers and we work with to support the NTF pages, so Ro Rosa's fantastic. Um, and William was saying that they're going through and giving this a good overhaul and uh, it's not an insignificant task. He said there's over 165,000 pages and I think we all know of the reports, case studies, conference presentations, the stuff that's on here. And in the past it wasn't actually always easy to find. Well, that's not surprising because the thing's just grown um, out of its control. It's uh, it's it's figment of its own success in a way but I think I really like what they've done with it and it seems to already I'm not sure even if they've finished but I think it looks great to me it's very much clear and very much better signposted to a whole range of things now um, I have quite I've spent some time in the resource center do quite like this and I like the way you can search by thematic area here so internationalization assessment feedback I think that's really useful the other thing I really like is be able to go in and find what's in your discipline. So that's also very nice. If I go back again, um, at the conference we uh, we talked about TechDis, and I'll um, do another resource on them. And um, one of my presentations was on open education resources, and I just wonder how many people would know that we've got Joram, which is. Um, a national database for sharing learning materials and there's fantastic stuff on here so you can get to Joram by Joram AC UK or they are linked to on the HA web pages um, all sorts of things on there I just thought I'll search for myself see what comes up you always forget what you do over the years don't you and um, open education resource program teacher fellow part of the SCORE community that was part of um, UK OER. That was a great bunch of people. Uh, one of the case studies enhancing um, bioscience practicals, other OER case studies. Now that was a good one and I could never find this subsequently. Now this was, um, we interviewed senior management on their perception of open educational resources. I could never find this on the web and we absolutely love that piece of work so I'm really chuffed at how intuitive and searchable the new HEA web page is now so that's great anyway I would guarantee I would recommend you go in and have a good mooch around and um, look at the professional skills frameworks and the um, different professional development um, pages here where we can support and enhance our learning cheers